Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. I mean, Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we were, had just finished off the 12th level of these endless paths. And, um, we had tried poking at the Vithrak here. Although, apparently, they seem just a smidgen too strong for us, or if not too strong, then definitely um, a little outnumbering us. And while it's tempting to go try that again at the moment, I suppose we should try to assist them after a fashion. Uh, that was the stairs down. Stairs up. This is the stairs down. I think. Oh, hello. You feel a sharp and sudden pain in your head, immediately followed by a harsh and alien voice. Ajik, Kalethura are a human, a Vasti. The creature makes a peculiar clacking sound before its voice speaks in your mind once more. I name it trespasser, killer, lingerer in the bright places. Where is it going? Speak a little better than your leader. It insults us. I will tear the memory from its place from its speaks to our leader. It visits the nest. You feel an echo in the fifth act's alarm in your head. To what purpose? Your leader asked us to collect some Adra samples to help the colony. Cherak asks this. The Vithrak kisses quietly. Of this? You feel a muted wave of thwarted anger. Go then, the Arda men will crush it like this, a squirming hare, and Cherak will send us once more. Oh. Trained crystal leaders. Fancy. All right. I mean, I suppose I could have gotten some experience from... Well, could I have? I don't know. The experience system in this makes sense, but at the same time, it, uh, it feels sometimes inconsistent. I search the ruins below the caves and it can begin my search. Bithrak have asked me to acquire three items. A refined art of crystal, the armor of one of the Adra laced Anamites that roam the area, excuse me, and a piece of one of the ancient Ingwithin machines. This will hopefully provide the Vithrak with enough material to base their own experience on. Experience, experiments. Same difference, really? Alrighty. Sure. New areas. New pains in my asses. Largish looking area here. Kind of expecting most anything to just pop up at this point. Hmm. Let's see what we found. I hate you. I uh, love that for me. Literally dis uh, discovers the trap the second that we get down into the bit proper like. Ugh. Well. Try this again, this time with feeling and not activating a trap. Yo, Lily, why the hell are you all the way in the back? Enemy spotted. Yangula. Yo, Lily, why the hell are you all the way in the back? Be right. Oh. Blanked, distracted, blinded, dead. Wait. 
It's done. Oh, more trap. More traps. Okay. Think with the machine part. That one was in such a chore. You know, say for the silliness that was the trap. Uh, Ooh, right, freaking all the diamonds. I don't much like that sound. That's probably why I don't like that sound. Alright, what is it doing? I'm assuming it did a thing. Frightening Aura. Alright, so these things have a threatening... Oh, hello. Hi. I'm on the trail. Gonna... Continue on our Mary. Quick saving. It's done. I really hope I'm so. Here. Oh, big trap. Let's see what we found. Many traps. Cannot disarm that trap. Ah, oh, damn it! The resting bonus I went for was the plus three to dexterity. This happens. Fairly certain. Always fairly certain. At some point, I really do just gotta get a loft back in the party just so as I can craft a buttload of stuff and things. Hey, Dar, you've done this before and you found nothing. I know. I'm desperate. Shut up. Oh, flame. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong party members in the party to be able to do any of that. For the now. You'd kind of think that the let here. Delicious alacrity of mo motion. Jesus. Would be able to do something along that lines, but I guess not. Although making a couple of potions of power probably would not go amiss. Yeah. All right. Point is, I do not have the ability to disable this for the moment. How long till we level? Ah, roughly another thousand experience points. But until then, I just kind of have to dance around this godforsaken crap. Here for like. Oh. All right, so that's animates. That's three animates total. Ah, uh, four. Aww. 
I know I had someone in the comment section being all like, hey, you don't use your active effects enough. It's like, yeah, that's probably because I don't know what the hell's going on half the bloody time in the first place. Darn it. Wait, how'd you... Oh, god damn it. These ones are healing people, aren't they? Either they're the ones doing the healing. There we go. Now we got Idir here in the back just kind of going, ah. Always good heals, always good heals. Within shields, too. I remember those Visit selling. Uh. Alright, so it seems like every single time that I clear out an area, they. these spirits just kind of appear. As long as they don't try to kill me when I come when I inevitably have to come back and you know be all like hey got those bits and bobs for you hmm uh then we have less of a problem Could you? Oh, because he's once again stuck behind all the other. <laughs> I'll lie. That has currently been what sure. feels like the thing to murder us the most in this game. This room is way too big to have nothing in it. Well, besides skin bones. That's the sound of another spirit. Adra Adamit. Alright. We're only attacking a foe with at least one defense that is much higher than the accuracy of the target attacking it. Am I? Wait. That one has an oh, yeah, that's that's the spirit. Is that you complaining about that? What is this defense anyways? Yeah, kinda have little little say in what it does. I can go for the animate. God damn. All right, now go for the Ardra. Adra. Adra. This one. Yeah, it's damage reduction across the board is probably something like 
33 against everything except bludgeoning, so... Maybe? Yeah, yeah, because for some reason, despite it being, you know, big burly construct thing, it was casting magic all the damn time. I don't know why freaking weird ass constructs. All right, what do you got? Fifteen deflection penalty. Guess we can live with that for the time being. Well, I'm glad you didn't join the fray. Oh god, are you serious, guys? Alright. So, on the one hand, we know that it, it requires bludgeoning damage to apparently destroy these things. On the other hand, they keep on positioning themselves in a very... I could swear that we could come up around the other side of this guy, but all right. Sure. It really is the positioning that feels like it's killing us the most. Ah. Exceptional Acrobust. 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 Okay. Yeah, this room doesn't look dangerous in the slightest. Let's see what we found. Oh, come on. Indeed. I know, I know, we're probably not supposed to be down at this level in the first place anyways, but Jesus freaking Christ. Oh, to the spirit. This hazy figure is tall and broad in frame, and its shifting, indistinct faces turn towards the floor as if it were deep in thought. You hear a faint murmuring in the repetitive cadence of prayer. From time to time, the spirit seems to sway in place. Hello? The spirit turns its face towards you in a swift motion. For a moment, it features blur and then resolve into what appears to be a man's visage. Message, visage. Its eyes fixed upon you. He says nothing, only watches you unmoving. Can you understand me? Looks on silently. Sure. Productive. Um. The better part of valor. Probably safe to say that this other side is also trapped. I mean. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Mm -hmm. Besides a spirit that won't talk to me and... Traps that are currently unable to be untrapified. Man, a lot of... Saying grace... Oh, cool. I think most of the party is paralyzed in fear. Great. Love that for me. Got three of them? Uh, no. Turn on the party AI again. Hey there. For what that's worth.
<sighs> Y'all doing anything? Like, I know what. Uh, most of you have some sort of a ranged attack. Please do something with them. Need something? Yes. Actually, do something useful. Who is dying now? I can't move. Someone pick me up. Uh, Show them how it Please attack. Do something. You move over to her. Oh my fucking god. How? Okay, what the hell is its goddamn defenses here? Misses. I have no idea what the hell I'm trying to read here. Accuracy minus defense. I need to... God, this somehow reads like Thacko. Never mind, we're dead. Frickin' paralysis. Kill yourself? Please? Thank you. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. We're gonna be dead in just a hot second. Grazes, grazes. How much fucking HP you got left? They've had to have grazed you a billion times by now. I won't lie, I'm kind of growing slowly to hate this combat system. If not the combat system, then how the hell all this... ...additional math and whatnot, it's... I can't help but feel like it's overly complicated for no particularly good reason. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's swap you two to your... Yes. Sorry, your three to your good weapons. Like, don't get me wrong, I like a good system that makes it so as you actually have to think for your combat every so often, but at the same time... When it's like... <sighs> when you're working with decibel points... Alright. Here the first run back a little bit. Nope, that was, that was a relatively terrible idea. Oh no. Never mind. Most of the party is now paralyzed. Always fun. And for some reason, the party cannot move, cannot decide to move around this thing to get to the other side to flank them. Well, that's how it's gonna go. Okay, now you all have something to target. Please target it. Okay, you're annoying me. This is gonna be one of those phase cases where Talos goes down next, isn't it? Need something? 
Come on. Okay, maybe pulling back that little bit for the rest of the um, allies to do their thing was a good idea. Oh, that was a close one for grieving mother. Good lord. Yeah, I think half my... One half of my problem is the overcomplication of the combat system itself. Like, I there's decibel points. 18.4 minus damage reduction 4 minus 3 equals 17.4. If you're adding decibel points, I think it's a little much. I don't care if you round up or down. On the other hand, too, just the way that all of these places seem to be hey there. constructed for the purposes of battle. Um. Oh. It's like for a second there. Is there a purpose for this to glow? Can I interact with it? Easy form stands for you from time to time. Resolves what you imagine would be a thin elven man, gaunt with and weary. He speaks seemingly to himself in low and anxious tones. You cannot understand his words, for he speaks in a strange tongue. Yo. Does not seem to hear you, or at least it does not respond. Same to put his hands on his head. Head, head in his hand. I'll take a peek. I'm not going to enjoy this next room, am I? Okay, I see a treasure chest. Two treasure chests. Remains of a statue suggests it once depicted a young warrior. The details on the clothing have worn away, leaving only indistinct forms. Right, Lily's not detecting any traps. The flames of Ferrian. Oh, unique saber. Grants fireball three times per rest. Yeah, I think a deer's gonna be a little happy. This saber has po posed a mystery to historians and weaponsmiths for two centuries. It was recovered from an Iguithan ruin, but almost all experts agree that it is far younger than any of the artifacts left by ancient civilization. Yet no one has been able to expand the ruin runes on, explain the runes on the blade, which are unmistakably Iguithan. The one fact on which we all have agreed is that it is a formidable, if poorly understood, weapon. And a necklace of fireballs? Alright. Is that a per day thing? Or is that a... Use it once and be done with it thing? Alright. Um... I gotta make camp. Most are we to a level? Ah, oh. tantalizingly close. All right, we're dealing with a bunch of spirits. It seems like so. Let's change their damages. Hireling payday total loss three hundred bucks. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Finishes in five hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose I should proper save and call an episode. When we return, we are going to attempt whatever the hell is in the next room. Maybe we'll level up. That'd be grand, and then maybe I can undo some of these traps. <sighs> Always, just barely. Always. Despite pumping her mecha uh, mechanics.
yeah that's it thank you everyone so very much for watching i hope you're all enjoying the series as much as i'm enjoying playing it as always i hope to see you all in the next video take care cheers